Hello and welcome to the presentation for SAS EMEA Hackathon 2020. My name is Vasily and we are Team Analytics. For this hackathon, we've selected you and goal number three, good health and well-being. We're using SAS and open source R to forecast air pollution at the level street or neighborhood. Air pollution comes in two flavors, gases and particulate matter. For our hackathon challenge, we focused on particulate matter size and microns. How small is small? Human hair is between 50 to 70 microns. 20 particles of PM 2.5 would fit across a human hair. These are so small that they get deep inside human lungs and even into bloodstream. But how dangerous is that to human life? The number of deaths related to air pollution is surprisingly high. An estimate of 790 extra deaths in the whole Europe in 2015. World Health Organization estimates across the world that 120 extra deaths per 100,000 people caused by air pollution. That is more than people die from crime or car accidents. How can we better understand air pollution? We used Luftdata data, an open data project to collect data for Brussels and Warsaw. And we implemented the Krieging algorithm. Krieging allows to predict pollution for areas without sensors based on the data from a sensors nearby. What does it look like in practice? We applied Krieging using SAS via on the data we had for Brussels. On the slides, you see average values for December 2019 for the whole city. I have selected this month because in December the pollution is particularly pronounced, although it's still very low. Using this approach, we predict pollution in all areas of the city. We are not running causality experiment here, but the geographic spread of the pollution matches the location of Brussels airport and major motorway junctions leading to it. Pollution slowly dissipates in opposite direction from this object. Using open source R, we've developed a predictive model for Warsaw using Kriging algorithm. It shows how pollution varies across the city for several weeks in December 2019. On the map, you can see that almost every street and neighborhood has a prediction associated. We developed a SAS via dashboard where anyone could enter postcode, in this case Brussels postcode, to receive a review of the historical pollution specifically for that postal area. Imagine the power of this tool if deployed widely. People who are sensitive to the pollution could check the levels of pollutants in the area where they live, work or study. They can see how it changes throughout the day, week or year. Families with kids before buying a house, when moving into the area or sending them to school could check the levels of pollution first. This service can be deployed as SAS via REST API where others could build apps, dashboards, alerts, forecasts and so on. Imagine an app on the phone so that sensitive people to pollution could track it and set alerts to the areas where they are or going to. A system like that would give people the power to know what is in the air that they breathe. A system like that clearly contributes towards your end goal of good health and well-being. Thank you very much for your time and attention. This was Team on Lithium presenting our results for SAS Hackathon 2020. If you have any questions, please reach out using the contact information screen. Thank you very much and goodbye.